me. Rush, rush, rush. Everybody's rushing me today. Fine, all right. Hey, let's get going, everybody. Okay, pick a category. Here we have our burrito. I hardly know him. $2,000 says you don't know this one. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. Which of the following trees does not exist? The monkey puzzle tree, the trumpet tree, the sausage tree, or the booby tree? Go for it. Looks like you win the booby prize. <laughs> there ain't no booby tree. Mommy, what's wrong with that tree? Those don't look like leaves. Oh, well, I, we're going home right now. I need a category. For your enjoyment, warning, this question contains graphic imagery, and it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Just step up and take a swing at this one. Which of these would be calculated into the gross national product? It's yours if you want it. Gross national product measures the market value of all goods and services produced within a nation in a year. But selling your toe cheese? Why compete with the French? Okay, I need a category. Son, you best be out of town before I count to three! Open wide and get ready for when chess turns ugly. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. All right, say you're playing chess when you snap from all the pressure and decide to use some violent defense strategies. Suppose that to protect your king, you draw a gun and tell the opposing pieces to back the hell up. Because it cannot move backwards, which chess piece is dead meat? The pawn, the rook, the knight, or the queen? Take it! While the higher-ranking pieces can retreat, the pawns on the front line cannot move backward and will therefore just sort of wait to get shot. <laughs> huh, that's just like real war. Funny. All right, hit me. Smokey's in the bread box picking daisies. That's a big ten. Four. Good, buddy. I think. This one's called, Honey, the neighbor just laid one on your Camaro. And we got 3,000 bucks in the pot. Let's see how you handle this one. Imagine that some cuckoos move in next door to you. Considering the cuckoo's behavior in the wild, what unneighborly behavior should you be on the lookout for? They'll strip your sighting for their home. They'll sing every hour on the hour. Go get it. Cuckoos are known for laying their eggs in the nests of other birds. Worse, they never mow their damn lawn and there's a broken car parked on it. And I know their kid does drugs, I know it. Category, please. And I believe this one's called the best artist of the herd. How does $2,000 sound? Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. If you saddled up a bunch of famous artists and tried to ride them, which one could you sit on while holding onto his handlebar mustache? George O'Keefe, Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali. It's yours if you want it. Sorry, I don't have a handlebar mustache, but just grab onto my ears. You sure? Go ahead. <laughs> Get some every time. In case you're wondering, Salvador Dali is notorious for his handlebar mustache, but I bet you're one of those people who'd have to show off and ride him with no hands. I need a category. Six. 
Well, what do we have here? Kiss me, I'm Italian. This one can net you a grand. Put it in gear, cause here we go. Which Roman deity would you expect to have cold sores all over her mouth? Diana, Juno, Venus, or Minerva? Diana? Diana the Virgin? Damn, I was saving that answer for someone special. For the curious, here's the right answer. The word venereal, as in venereal disease, comes from Venus, the Roman goddess of love and beauty. I always thought it was the messenger of the gods, herpes. Oh wait, he's Greek. Okay, I need a category. Come on, baby needs an eight. Seven! Ah, oh, crap. Pucker up for. Do you have the receipts for all this crap? Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Think fast. If your true love really gave you all the presents cited in the song The Twelve Days of Christmas, what would you receive on the twelfth day? Ten birds, twelve monkeys, thirty-four people, five rings. Eighteen birds, seven fish, twenty-eight people, five rings. Twenty-three birds, fifty people, one tree, five rings. Or forty-two birds, sixteen people, nine trees, five rings. Go for it! In the 12 days of Christmas, your true love gives 79 gifts on the 12th day, if you count the partridge and the pear tree. <laughs> so that's 12 days of Christmas, a total of 376 gifts, and one very unusual backyard sale this spring. All right, hit me. Hey, all right, guess what you just picked? It's time to play Dis or Dat. The category for this dis or dad is, that is so totally like my life. Okay, like, I'm gonna read seven movie titles and, oh, oh, so you already know how to play. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's dance. The Breakfast Club, McCarthy, Ringwald, or Boat. Less than zero. St. Elmo's Fire. Mannequin. The Pickup Artist. Pretty and Pink. One more. Sixteen candles. That's all of them. Excellent. You got a whole two right on that one. I'm, I'm sure that'll do wonders to your total. Hey, maybe you'll start guessing better on the next question. Okay, pick a category. Coming at you, blonde jokes which are accurate. $1,000 at stake on this one. Heads up, here it comes. Mathematically speaking, what's the difference between a blonde... Go get it! In order to find the difference between two quantities, you subtract them. As for the difference between a blonde and a lawyer, well, this is a blonde. Hello. And this is a lawyer. I've been advised not to take part in this joke. Category, please. One, two, ten. May I introduce? Is that a harp or are you just happy to see me? And you're playing for $3,000 cash money. Sure, it's nice to be touched by an angel, but suppose you're inappropriately touched by an angel in a business situation. Go for it! The Archangel Michael heads up the whole angel establishment, so he gets the report. It says here you, uh, incited the situation by praying. Well, I was praying, yes, but... And I... you were wearing a nightgown at the time? I was in bed, and in I... In bed? I don't believe this! One down, round two to go. Let's get on it. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so... Okay, I need a category. Yeah. 
Shake hands with. No prize for second place. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Okay, get your hand on your buzzer and get ready to type in the answer that completes this sequence. Carter, Mondale, Dukakis, Bush. What's the next name in this sequence? Here's what you should have typed in. Bob Dole was the runner-up in the 1996 presidential election, just like those other guys were runners-up in the previous four elections. And that's a direct quote from Bob himself. All right, hit me. And this one is tonight's news with cool graphics and ominous drums. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Okay, first there was Watergate, then Iran Gate, then Nanny Gate. Yeah, you gotta love the clever media. Suppose the next White House controversy centers around improper tampering with the oldest surviving version of the complete Bible. Take it! The oldest surviving version of the complete Bible is called the Vulgate. <laughs> Apparently, in that version, Jesus has his own independent counsel. Category, please. It's only a game. Just pick one. I finally conquered my Triskaidekaphobia. Thirteen! <laughs> The category, Rudolph the Touchy Giuliani. 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Hey, do you find people from New York pushy about their space? Suppose New York makes the Don't Freakin' Touch Me state their motto. Because it does not border on New York, which state could comply with its demand? Rhode It's yours if you want it. Rhode Island doesn't border New York. <laughs> Which is good, because if Rhode Island pissed off New York, New York could kick its ass with Staten Island tied behind its back. Okay, pick a category. Going up. 10, 11, 12, 14! Say hello to, if you're Dan Quayle, don't pick this question. And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Put your tray in the upright position, it's time for takeoff. Which of these words is the correct spelling of the word misspelling? Misspelling, 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 or misspelling? Go get it! M-I-S-S-P-E-L-L-I-N-G and thanks to Florida State University for letting us use their entrance exam for this question. I need a category. Check out my new shouting calculator. Three times five equals... Well, looks like this category is promises you'll never have to keep. How does $4,000 grab you? Have you ever had your sweetest ask you, what would you do for me? I love that one. If your sweetest asks you if you'd follow the example of England's King Edward VIII, what should be your apply? Yes, I'd make you a queen, love. Yes, I'd also marry your mother, sugar. Yes, I'd cut off my head, honey. Or, yes, I'd give up my kingdom, dear. Go for it. See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. In 1936, King Edward VIII resigned his throne so he could marry Wallace Simpson, a divorcee. Personally, I'm not giving up the throne for anyone. My toilet means everything to me. Category, please. Uh-oh, wet sucked its shine floor. It's time. Your gibberish category for today is... By all means, take the credit card, son. The opening value for this gibberish question is gonna be 10K. 
Now listen up. Every second and a half, some of the cash is going to disappear. So if you want to win big, you got to be quick. Okay, heads up. When you know this, buzz in and type it out. With what cliche does this gibberish rhyme? Oh, grudge the sh Talk to me. Type in your answer and hit return. Don't judge a book by its cover, unless it's a Harlequin romance. In that case, I think you're pretty safe. All right, hit me. Let's see what we got going. The soothing sounds of listening to me talk. Set up straight. This one's worth $6,000. All right, for this question, I'm going to assume you were a devoted follower of the Net Show for the years I hosted it. That was you, right? During my reign as host, which of the following was an indication that there was a commercial coming on You Don't Know Jack, the Net Show? Take it! That's right, right before we went to a commercial, I'd like to leave you with this pleasant thought. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, I really do have something up my butt. Here, yeah, this thing here. Have you been looking for it? Okay, I need a category. This category is known as finding love in a bottle. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Okay, think I dream of Genie and answer this. Based on where Tony Nelson found the bottle containing Genie, what might have been the first problem she had to deal with upon emerging? Snow in her slippers, moon dust in her hair, sand in her undies, or raw meat in her mouth? It's yours if you want it. Moon dust in her hair. Ah, oh, so romantic. And wrong. <laughs> hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. Uh! Major Nelson crash landed on a desert island where he found the bottle containing Genie. Lucky bastard, most of us have to empty the bottle and then imagine the beautiful blonde. Okay, pick a category. The selection is physically unable to digest a Slurpee. Get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. Hey, remember that Sesame Street where Ernie keeps saying, I'm thirsty, until Bert gets out of bed to fetch him an itty bitty cup of water? Well, of course you do. I'm sure you were just thinking about it. If Ernie had really wanted a big gulp from 7-Eleven, what should he have said to Bert? Am I thirsty for 24 ounces? Am I thirsty for 32 ounces? Am I thirsty for 40 ounces? Or am I thirsty for 40 48 ounces. Go get it. Seven Eleven's big gulp has 32 ounces. Wait a minute, does Ernie even weigh 32 ounces? I need a category. Okay, give it up for... Let's French! And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Okay, see if you can help me solve this wacky equation. Louis the 14th plus Punky Brewster equals... Pan de Soleil Moon Fry, Le Roi Soleil Moon Fry, Cirque du Soleil Moon Fry, or Je ne sais Moon Fry Pop. It's yours if you want it! You don't know Moon Fry? Well, yeah, nobody's really recognized her since she hit puberty. <laughs> Quel fromage! Louis XIV was known as the Sun King, or Le Roi Soleil, and actress Soleil Moon Fry played Punky Brewster in the mid-80s. Louis XIV had the longest reign in European history. Punky Brewster can be seen in syndication. Okay, I need a category.
time for the attack. When you see t Ah, you think you know the attack, huh? I got news for you. Not all attacks are equal. Here's your clue. If it's a girl, we'll call her... Girl. Or something like that. Alright, good luck. Congratulations, my friend. You made it through an entire game by yourself and you came out on top. Not many people can say that, but I know plenty of people who can say...